the economy is receding and people have a little less to spend with. So we're trying to go more price friendly units. In terms of living area, guys, it feels really spacious. It's like USB overload. It's everywhere. For real super C, this is hard to beat yeah. price wise. Yeah. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. And we're at the 2024 Tampa RV Super Show. And behind us, we have a super popular Super C model. This is the 2024 Dynamax DynaQuest XL 381 TS. TS. That's a mouthful, guys. <laughs> super popular. This is what we would consider a real Super C. It's on a commercial truck chassis, and it comes in at a very competitive price. We're going to take you on a full interior and exterior tour. So starting off, why do we call this a real Super C? Well, it is on a commercial truck chassis. This one specifically on the Freightliner M2 112 plus chassis. Why that's important is because that it is commercial grade. You're going to get your truck transmission. You're also going to get 20,000 pounds of towing capacity. Underneath this large hood powering this is the Cummins L9 turbo diesel engine, 450 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Now, if you see this, unit you can see this is high end full body paint you have the diamond protection shield up front one piece fiberglass cap and then you look at the tires up front and these are large commercial tires and wheels 275 80 22 and a half up front as in any super c or class c you have multiple means of entry this also has the two chrome steps you have a fuel fill on the passenger side as well as a fuel fill on the driver's side cameras truck style mirrors frameless windows throughout you see the light up above to light the doorway, keyed so you can put your combination uh, keyless entry, lighted handrail to get in, electric steps, three steps. With, if you notice here, this is a pretty cool thing. It has like that, that boat soft style step. So if you go in barefoot, you don't get like that skateboard tape scraped up on your feet. And it's also finished out in a polish. Now this is a triple slide coach, two slides on the passenger side, one slide on the driver's side. Again, full body paint, slide toppers throughout, drawed awnings throughout this whole coach. And I'll just quickly show you some of the bays, guys. And this has a decent amount of storage in here for a Super C. You see everything is finished out in the rotocast. You have GFCI outlets. So these don't open no, the, all the way. As far as the Dynamax, no, they yeah, don't, yeah. the ones we've done. Yep. But these are aluminum doors, rotocast finish, and then you have a semi pass-through storage. Now you'll never get a full pass-through storage on a Super C because the engine's up front, you have that drivetrain running through the rear. Now on bay number three, this one does open more fully because you do have a tray with a Truma freezer. Now, I think in this tray, we will load that up with lithium batteries. A lot of batteries, yeah. Hard. You also have your outdoor entertainment television with a sound bar, and I do like that it's lockable, and as you push it, it sucks everything in. Now you notice the paint job. This is a Dean Laux inspired paint job. Now Dean Laux does not paint these, but these are his designs. Now, if you look at the paint, you can see the shadowing, very detailed. It's beautiful, it's like waves. Really nice ocean. paint job. This is full body paint, multiple coats of base and clear coat. LED docking lights, you have your double rear tires in the back. With these, those are lockable. So you have better traction if you're going down the road, if you need that. Also air ride suspension on the rear. Here's your next slide. This will open up the bedroom. Next two bays, you have your Aquahot 450D. So that's gonna be responsible for your heat inside as well as your water heater. It's gonna heat everything up, both diesel and electric fired. Next two bays, your rotocast finish out. Last one, another, this has very good, good storage, storage for a Super yeah, C. Now really again, does. you don't get the full pasture storage, but you do get a good there's amount a, of storage. There's a little dog running. So I'm calling <laughs> his dog. Moving on to the rear, you see the fiberglass cap, window for the rear bedroom, LED tail lights, brake lights, 20,000 pound hitch. Then you have your rear view camera and that camera is actually split into two. So you have one kind of moving, shooting out and then one shooting down so you can see your tow vehicle. Next three bays, you have the continuation of that pass-through bay. Next bay on the driver's side, you have your power cord, 50 amp coach, double air conditioners, and it is on a power wheel. You're gonna be surprised with the price of this coach is. We're gonna let you know toward the end of this video. Next bay, full wet bay. You see it's fully insulated. All the sewage poles are all up high, so this is good for winter. Outdoor shower, you have your SantaCon macerator, which is standard on here, and you could also do your manual dumps. Your water hose is on a power reel. Everything you need is located right here, and you also have whole house filtration 
and an LED light. Continuing on, your next bay, Onan Quiet Diesel 8,000 kilowatt hour generator. Next bay, continuation of your bay on the passenger side. Then you have your batteries that are equipped in here. So here's your battery bay. You have both your chassis batteries and your house batteries located in the same location. Also note on this, this has lithium batteries as two 300 amp hour lithium batteries for a total of 600 amp hours that come on this unit. Last bay on the driver's side, you have all your wiring, your transfer case, as well as your magnum inverter charger on that side. And then finishing up on the driver's side, you have your DEF fill your other camera, another tank to fill up so you can fill on both sides for fuel. Now let's give you some specs guys on this specific model. The gross vehicle weight rating, 33,000 pounds. Gross combined weight rating is 54,000 pounds. The overall length is 39 feet, eight inches. Width is 101. Wheelbase is 268 inches. You have two 15,000 BTU units on the roof for a total height of 12 feet 9 inches the interior height is 7 feet so it's very large fuel capacity is 100 gallons the water capacity is going to go fresh gray black is 94 gallons 52 and 52 gallons and then the overall awning length is 30 feet 3 inches you can see how nice this is here and you might have seen some of the detailers around they detail these every day when you get this out on the road guys you're going to want a one-stop shopping all-in-one cleaning solution for your rv we use release by cycle Quest USA. They are a US-based company and Release Cleaner is an all-in-one solution. And what I mean all-in-one, I mean it cleans everything from your aluminum, fiberglass, wheels, upholstery, your clothing, your tiles, bathroom. You can use it all, guys. And the best thing is, it's an all-in-one solution. If you buy a one-gallon concentrate, you can get 80 32-ounce bottles out of a one-gallon concentrate. It comes out to $1.12 a gallon. We absolutely love it, guys. You can spray it on, you can foam it on. It's one-stop shopping. If you use a discount code ENDLESS10, you will get 10% off of your purchase. Also, any purchase, $75 or more, is free shipping. They're absolutely amazing. You can read the reviews on them. Our viewers love it. We carry it on board. We're going to put all their information down below. All right, let's get to the interior tour. We love these Dynamaxes, guys. Right when you come in, you're going to have a handrail right here to help you up if you have some mobility issues. All your light controls are right there. Right when you come in, you step in, you hit the master on all your lights are going to come on. And then over here, you would be happy about oh, that. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I right? don't actually see the vacuum. Little but... vacuum, yeah, no, it's nice. And then you have some storage up above right here, little area, here's your AV. You could keep some items in there. And then you have a bunk over the cab. So this is great, large bunk, okay? There's no window up front, but you do have the windows on the side. But that's good, that's less room for leaks. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, stepping into the cockpit. Here again, you have your master lights again, which you're able to control, and your outside lights as well. Okay, really, really comfortable cockpit here in the captain's chair. You do have... Let the air out. Is that you or you is that the chair? No, that is the chair. You do have air IT. Here's your, your large screen, your cameras. You have your air brakes here. Very comfortable, as Izzy said. This is a true truck. And you feel it. It's pretty awesome. You have some storage up above here. Okay, some lights for you to read your maps. Am I showing my age? Let's move on into the rest of the living area here's your ladder to get up onto the bunk there all right so you have thomas Payne furniture really really comfortable this is exactly what we have the theater seats here you do have a little eating area so if you want to sit and watch tv and eat that's great you have a cell phone charger here these are all powered heated massage windows on each side large windows surrounding the living area so you have plenty of natural light coming in and also what i'm going to show you opposing the theater seats is where your TV is going to be and a bunch of other cool things. But when the TV is down, your TV is on a televator. When that TV is down, the amount of light that you're going to get Show in here. Yeah. But the light when it's down is going to be amazing. So let's lift up the TV. That moves much faster than our TV. Yeah, so here's your TV. Now I'm curious, guys, I want you to put in the comments below. What do you think about this area? For me, this is a waste of space. That's just for me. But others could use it as, you know, maybe like a workspace or if you like maybe extra prep space when you're cooking, whatever. But I would definitely probably put another seating area or something like that. But it is cool. 
as these Dynamaxes always have all the Berkshires, everything, they have the edge LED lighting, which is really, really nice. You get a fireplace here. Here's your Bose sound bar. So fireplace for heat, ambiance, both, whatever you like to use. You got a lot of cabinet space and drawer space. The drawers are soft close. Okay, I'm not gonna open every drawer, but just to kind of give you an idea. Now our kitchen area. So you have a ton of counters, but like I said, that could all be used if you're prepping something. You have a nice area here and then more, guys, look at all this. So if you're like an appliance person, you have an Instapot, a Keurig, all those things, this is gonna be really good for you. You also get extra prep space right here. Okay, so if you wanna use that to cut or things like that. You've got a large sink here, stainless steel sink, nice residential faucet with a pull down sprayer. These are, um, they're solid surface countertops. They're a nice weight to them. So you've got some, some strength there. Good amount of uh, cabinet space for your dishes. Here's a GE microwave. That is a convection oven as well. You have a two burner induction cooktop. Tons of, of cabinet space. You can stick a garbage can in there if you'd like. And again, put in the comments below, what do you think of all this counter space? What would you do with all of that space? Especially in front of the TV. I would love to know people's ideas for what they would use that for. More cabinet space here. Dishes, food, whatever you like. And again, you're gonna need that because if you notice, there's no pantry, no designated pantry. So you are gonna use a lot of these drawers and things for your food. So then moving into the, ref guys, this is like the refrigerator. biggest refrigerator I've ever seen. <laughs> this is huge. Oh, look at, this is nice too. So right? To me, I, this is almost a little bit overkill. For this RV, yeah. yeah I mean, it's it, a it, lot it is, of refrigerator. It is quite large. And then where are you gonna eat all this food that you prep? Right here, so you have a nice dinette. Again, more nice open windows. You've got your cup holders there. So in terms of living area, guys, and, and space, it feels really spacious. Another thing too, take a look. I'm not gonna hit my head on this slide like I do in R, so everything's nice and high. And a couple things real quick. This does turn into a sleeping area, so you have multiple sleeping spots. You've got the bunk, you've got this, and you'll have the bed in the back. Also, I wanna mention, there's no carpet on the floors, but there is carpet on the slides, so keep that in mind. And also the vents that you'll see, they're raised up a little bit, guys. They're not on the floor. So again, if you have pets and things, that's always a good thing. Let's move into the bathroom. You're going to have a midship split bath. So you have your sink here, large medicine cabinet, two medicine cabinets actually, large and small. You've got a little prep space there, plenty of cabinet space underneath, little towel ring there. And then you're gonna head into the your one full bath. You've got some cabinet space above. You can use that as a linen closet or something if you like to give you a bar for your towels. You have a porcelain toilet with a pedal flush. And so let's step into the shower. Not enormous, but again, when they give you this radius shower, you're, you're getting more space and it is quite high. So if you are tall, drink of water, as they used to say, this will be good for you. So it's a good size. Again, it is a one bath coach. You wanna keep that in mind, but that's a, a decent size. Then you're going to have your Splendid washer dryer, nice placement of that right in the middle. So you have your door here for your bedroom. You're gonna get a lot of privacy. This is a sturdy door, guys. It feels really good. So then you're gonna come in. There's not a ton of space in the bedroom. Now again, guys, when you're dealing with a Super C, you know, you have a lot of space up front. It is gonna take away from some of your living space and you do feel it in here. Not as much in the, the living room area. Nice cedar lined closets. The lights go right on for you. You have a, a hanging bar there so you can put a lot of clothes in. You're gonna have that on both sides. Here's your TV. You're gonna have a sound bar, Plenty of drawers here for your clothes. They're all cedar lined as well, which is really nice and soft clothes. So you have a, a bunch of those there. And then behind the TV, it's always good when they use every bit of space. So you'll have a storage area back here and that will give you a safe in there as well. A couple 110 outlets and you have USBs. Guys, I have to tell you every show that we go to, the amount of USBs on RVs just keeps increasing by tenfold. And you'll see what I mean here too. So you have your king size bed, Pretty simple headboard there. You have some reading lights. On those reading lights is a USB. So you can have your wire hanging in your face. Okay, so you have that. Then you also have USB here. Two uh, 110 GFCI outlets there. Again, your light control is right at the touch of a button, which is great. It's like USB overload. It's everywhere. Even more so than the 110, you're just seeing it. You know, the the, cha the theater seats, everywhere they can, 110 anymore. you can put them, they're putting them. Now, here's the thing, guys. What makes this a really 
great unit is the price point and what you get for that price point. If you want top notch, go get the Renegade Classic, get a show, show hauler. hauler. It's going to be far more expensive than this is. Even the Renegade Verona, it's going to be more mm -hmm. expensive than this. So we're going to give you the MSRP and then we're going to give you the show prices being offered by Lazy Days in Florida. So the MSRP is $486,721 and the show price is $346,995. But wait, you get a free RV blanket with oh, any I mean, purchase. That's, that's oh, I'm sorry, free it. blanket with any RV purchase. That, that's worth I'm it. I'm sold. Oh, that's awesome. I love blankets. That's actually really cool. So guys, that's a savings of $139,000. And of course, over. that is always the yeah, starting, starting negotiation point, price. Right. So in the comments below, guys, let us know what do you think? I think bang for buck. And we've been trying to do a lot of those in this trip down here because the economy is definitely mm -hmm. a little bit receding and people have a little less to spend with. So we're trying to go more price friendly units for real super C. This is hard to beat yeah. price wise. Yeah. In the comments below guys, let us know, do you own a DynaQuest? Are you interested in getting a DynaQuest? What do you think about this unit? And if you like videos like this to the left of us, we'll put our RV tours playlist, we'll put our RV newbies playlist. And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see, see you on, you on the, the road. road.